He heals the broken hearted. Take up your cross and follow me. Day 5. Take my yoke on you and learn from me. Humility in Christ's love. You may wonder why I seem to be focusing on Christ rather than the pains we have. Our trauma brains cause all sorts of reactions to triggers we encounter in our lives. So why aren't I talking more about these? Many years ago, when I'd been brought back to faith and had reached breaking point of exhaustion at work because of the unhealed baggage in my heart, I'd been given early retirement by the Polytechnic. They would probably give mental health as the reason today. And of course it was. I did not know how to manage the expectations of myself I lived with, the exhaustion and lack of love in my life. The inner and outer were not synchronised. But I had already been led to healing courses and to hear the word of God and the saving grace of Christ. In fact, at one evening crusade in a local village hall, I found myself claiming his healing and praising and singing while I was still on invalidity benefits from work. And through the work of the Holy Spirit, I was led to stand by my claim of his healing. I've told the full story of this elsewhere. elsewhere. So I surrendered my benefits and with my early retirement pension, made myself available for work. Day by day, I was led to God's work, and it was like being an apprentice and learning while doing. I learned that in Him, in His Holy Spirit, I had all I needed. He constantly extended my boundaries in faith and truth, and I learned to trust Him with releasing the pains within, in His time and way. He had told me to focus on him and his work and the healings just happened without planning on my part. So, dear soul, I offer you too the wholeness of releasing all your life day by day as he reveals something that you are still trying to control, manage, take charge of and it is causing you and other people hurt. He takes us one step at a time, no condemnation for what is still in the dark, just leading us forward in praise and thanksgiving for today's work bringing the dark to light. Would you like to have understanding of God's ways, enabling you to pray for yourself but also for others, and learn key prayers to help ride the hurdles and stumbling blocks? Would you like the patience of Job, knowing that nothing separates you from the love of God? Would you like to be indifferent to worldly desires, yet find joy in everything that God provides, and witness to his presence in you, bringing joy and hope to others? Do you want purity of heart, so that nothing hurts or offends you, and you judge no one? Instead of hurt reactions to triggers, would you like first to choose for compassion and eventually find only compassion and love in your heart? All these are possible through the humility of Christ's love. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Keep your eyes open for the description of the work that I have undertaken to do for witness to God's love. Keep your eyes on the posts.